Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Look what I've just finished building. Right then, now we're going to show you how we've done it. Uh, except it's all going to be time lapse. We've had some terrible weather the past few days trying to get this up and it's just been stop start, stop start. Mm -hmm. Get the camera in, get the camera back out, cover the brickwork up, uncover it all. It's in and out like a fiddler's elbow. So it's just time lapse fest, I'm afraid. If you want any more detail, as you can see how we do the levels, profiles, anything like that, just put a little comment uh, in the comments funnily enough and I'll just send you a link to the other videos which explains your uh, question basically because there's nothing here that we haven't done before on, on our channel so as I say if you want anything explaining let us know and I'll put you in the right direction we've got a big job coming up starting um, in a couple of months and it's a bit more involved than this one so to speak so we'll go into all the detail again during that series so uh, anything you need to know about this, let me know. We'll put you in the right direction. Cue the music. Right, what an absolute ball like that turned out to be. Just the weather. Stop, start, stop, start. And when you're doing engineering bricks, you just can't, you can't risk it. So it was all a bit patchy in terms of progress wise. So uh, couldn't really film a lot. But we're up to damp now, as you can see behind me, uh, just over actually. I'll turn you around now. I'll show you what, we, what we've done, how we've done it, what we're gonna do, and we'll crack on. Right, so. Uh, what have we done? Got to damp, obviously. What I've chosen to do, which I don't normally do, I've chosen to follow the house exactly in terms of uh, the damp, big bed for the damp, and uh, and follow it round because, as you can see, from the way that's been built, the coursing that is um, that's easy to follow. That is, so we're all right. Uh, the previous job, as you may remember. Um, it was all over the place and it was just unfollow, unfollowable, so I didn't. But here I can, so I've d decided just to match it all in as best I can. These are the, the brick match. That's it up against the house. It's not a million miles away. Arley Red Rustics, they are. Uh, I, I think they're, they're pretty good, but apparently they're not the brick. Um, the actual one, which is, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, there's a six month lead time on them, so... As you can imagine, no chance. So that's our second prize, which ain't bad. It's all right. Um, so yes, uh, got it up to damp, the engineering bricks, uh, bedded the damp on, and then I laid that brick there to the house, following the course exactly. And then I laser leveled that level to the corners, all the way around, put our profiles on, put the line up, and there we go. So we've got that big bed on now, down there. Uh, all squared away, all nice and level throughout. So we can carry on now. So all we've got to do is, we'll just show you, transfer our measurements, our gauge measurements from there to our profiles. And the easiest way to do that, you could just measure it and write the measurements down, but the easiest way is to get yourself a staff. In this case, I'm just going to use my level. Just mark where the top of the bricks meet the, meet the level and then transfer that across. To there and then transfer the marks over it's all quite simple uh yeah and then i'm just going to go for it i'm going to go from here all the way around in one and just build up 
and keep going. So yeah, let's time lapse the uh, the dairy air out of it. Right then, that's that, the finished product, sort of. Um, as I say, we've done it all before, so if you want to know any more detail into anything, put a, a comment down and I'll get back to you with a link to the video that uh, answers your question. Um, 150 mil cavity, I've used 100 mil and 50 mil for reasons I'm gonna go into now. Uh, cavity closures have got to go in, they're all cut, they're ready. Uh, yeah, so basically, that's that. Now what we will go into a lot of detail in, as a bit of a step-by-step -step how to, is the roof. Um, it's going to be a warm deck, so we're going to go into all that, so stay tuned for that episode. Um, it's going to be a quite interesting one, so would you like that sort of thing? There's a reason why we've gone into uh, how high we have, because the problem with the warm deck is, if you just finish it at ceiling level, then you end up with a huge fascia and it can get quite ugly. So we've done that in a way to minimize the fascia. All will become apparent in the next episode. So if you've got any questions regarding that, just stick with us and, uh, and all will be explained. But as it stands, that is that. So a quick chat about money and what these new regulations mean financially. And I'll let you get off. Right, apologies for the short video, more of an experiment really, a bit more time lapse, a bit more music, let us know what you think, what sort of two different types of music as well, let us know, we'll try and steer it in the way that in the way that, that you want it at the same time, making videos that really we want to watch ourselves, but just want to have a quick chat with you um, about uh, money regarding the old regulations compared to the new regulations, what it actually means for the builder and ultimately 
you potentially the customer because uh, the um, the comparisons here are between the old 100 mil and the 150 mil so first off the cavity closures that we've used uh, if there were 100 mil cavity closures they'd be 10 pound a length these ones were 2119 plus the vat that 10 pounds from, was from wixies so that would be plus the vat that would be dead 10 pound dead so that's over double well well over double so that's an increase of as i say over 100 percent just on the cavity closures the 1500 millimeter cavity lintel if it was 100 mil it will be 56 pound 97 plus the vat i had to pay 138 51 so that's nearly triple. It's not quite, but that's an increase. The 1800ml cavity lintel would have been £83 plus the VAT, and I paid £166.22 plus the VAT. Double. It's huge, isn't it? Now, a little extension like this, you can sort of get, you know, all right, you, you can sort of take it on board, really, if you don't want a big argument with, with the customer. Or you tell them, now, I price for this, knowing full well the new regs are in, so work covered. But if the builder's coming back to you and saying, oh, it's more money, it's this, it's that, well, you know, what are you going to do? They're going to the builder's merchants. They're getting all these prices. They're starting the job, which could be six months, 12 months down the line, because that's how far they're booked up. And... That's what they're hit with. Then they've got to come back to you, the customer, and say, listen, there's an increase of, in some cases, 100%, over 100% on certain items. Now, as I say, I only bought two lintels for this job. If we're job block on outside now, my house, all those, that's a huge, huge increase. Well, the other man from Del Monte just walked past. No point asking the question. He's only going to say yes. Um, so, yeah. It's huge, isn't it? It's it, it's a big old increase. Now, I know what you're saying. You'll be on a time zero. These uh, Part L regulations have been in for, um, for for nearly a year now. Well, that's true. But if your job started before June 2022, or the building regs was passed off, i.e. The, the building uh, regulation company, be it the council, be it a private company, were aware of your job, um, it's registered, is the word I think I'm looking for, uh, before... Um, uh, June 2022 then you fell under the old regs so if you're 12 months in advance for your jobs which is only really you know it could be two extensions you know it's only two jobs it's not like an electrician who does three or four jobs a day got you know 15 jobs a week whatever it is you know for a, a general build like us you might only get two or three customers a year um then we've gone this year now and they haven't applied to us well now they do so now I'm, I'm getting my head around it whereas before I sort of Bearing my head in the sand around them. So, yeah, there we go. So, for all your potential customers out there wondering why, you know, the quotes are coming in so expensive, well, there's not a fat lot really that we can do. Not when there's, and that's only three elements of a job. I saved um, £320 by doing the insulation 100mm and 50mm rather than buying 150mm. Again, that's another, that would have been another 350 quid if I did it that way. Um, bear in mind they're not in stock anyway because a lot of builders merchants aren't going down 150 mil routes there are ways of keeping your cavity 100 mil where you upgrade the insulation in in the cavity problem with that is that you've got to do the uh, internal walls first and then you pin your uh, you pin your insulation to that now like the job that you just saw me do i can't do that on the one side because I can't get to the that's the can't get to the neighbour side to build it. There's a building there, you know, you can't do it. So there's ways and means around everything. The under film under fifty mil cavities are not the uh the the way you have to do it. Yes, there's other ways. I've got to get me around, but that's just a little food for thought of how much uh things have gone up just because of that one element. Uh right then, so now that is done. That gives me a chance to come back here, my house, and crack on. So the next time you'll see me, which hopefully, which will be this Wednesday, there'll be a new episode coming up, fingers crossed. Right then, thank you for watching. Always leave your comments down below. We'll get back to all of them. Uh, yeah, mention what you want. Let's have a chat about it. Nice one. Take care.